Burundi. Burundi is a landlocked country in the Great Rift Valley where the African Great Lakes region and East Africa converge. It is bordered by Rwanda to the north, Tanzania to the east and southeast, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo to the west. Lake Tanganyika lies along its southwestern border. The capital is Bujumbura. The Twa, Hutu, and Tutsi peoples have lived in Burundi for at least 500 years. For more than 200 of those years, Burundi was an independent kingdom, until the beginning of the 20th century, when Germany colonized the region. After the First World War and Germany's defeat, it ceded the territory to Belgium. Both Germans and Belgians ruled Burundi and Rwanda as a European colony known as Rwanda Arundi. Despite common misconceptions, Burundi and Rwanda had never been under common rule until the time of European colonization. Burundi gained independence in 1962 and initially had a monarchy, but a series of assassinations, coups and a general climate of regional instability culminated in the establishment of a republic and one-party state in 1966. Bouts of ethnic cleansing and ultimately two civil wars and genocides during the 1970s and again in the 1990s left the economy undeveloped and the population as one of the world's poorest. The presidents of Rwanda and Burundi, both Hutus, died together when their aeroplane was shot down in April 1994. 2015 witnessed large-scale political strife as President Pierre Nkurunziza opted to run for a third term in office, a coup attempt failed and the country's parliamentary and presidential elections were broadly criticized by members of the international community. The sovereign state of Burundi's political system is that of a presidential representative democratic republic based upon a multi-party state. The president of Burundi is the head of state and head of government. There are currently 21 registered parties in Burundi. On 13 March 1992, Tutsi coup leader Pierre Buyoya established a constitution, which provided for a multi-party political process and reflected multi-party competition. Six years later, on 6 June 1998, the constitution was changed, broadening National Assembly's seats and making provisions for two vice presidents. Because of the Arusha Accord, Burundi enacted a transitional government in 2000. In October 2016, Burundi informed the UN of its intention to withdraw from the International Criminal Court. Burundi remains primarily a rural society, with just 13.4% of the population living in urban areas in 2019. The population density of around 315 people per square kilometer 753 per square miles is the second highest in sub-Saharan Africa. Roughly 85% of the population are of Hutu ethnic origin, 15% are Tutsi, and fewer than 1% are indigenous TWA. The official languages of Burundi are Kurundi, French, and English, Kurundi being recognized officially as the sole national language. One of the smallest countries in Africa, Burundi has an equatorial climate. Burundi is a part of the Albertine Rift, the western extension of the East African Rift. The country lies on a rolling plateau in the center of Africa. The highest peak, Mount Heha at 2,685 meters 8 feet, lies to the southeast of the largest city, Bujumbura. The most distant source of the River Nile is the Ruviranza River in the Bururi province of Burundi, the Nile is linked from Lake Victoria to its headwaters via the Kagera River to the Ruviranza River. Another major lake is Lake Tanganyika, located in much of Burundi's southwestern corner. There are two national parks, Kabira National Park to the northwest, a small region of the rainforest, adjacent to Nyungwe Forest National Park in Rwanda, and Ruvubu National Park to the northeast, along the Rurubu River, also known as Ruvubu or Ruvuvu. Both were established in 1982 to conserve wildlife populations. Burundi's lands are mostly agricultural or pasture. Settlement by rural populations has led to deforestation, soil erosion, and habitat loss. Deforestation of the entire country is almost completely due to overpopulation, with a mere 600 square kilometers 230 square miles remaining and an ongoing loss of about 9% per annum. In addition to poverty, Burundians often have to deal with corruption, weak infrastructure, poor access to health and education services, and hunger. Burundi is densely populated and has had substantial emigration as young people seek opportunities elsewhere. 
The World Happiness Report 2018 ranked Burundi as the world's least happy nation with a rank of 156. History of Burundi Burundi is one of the few countries in Africa, along with its neighbor Rwanda among others, such as Botswana, Lesotho, and Eswatini, to be a direct territorial continuation of a pre-colonial era African state. The early history of Burundi, and especially the role and nature of the country's three dominant ethnic groups, the TWA, Hutu, and Tutsi, is highly debated amongst academics. However, it is important to note that the nature of culture and ethnic groups is always fluid and changing. While the groups might have migrated to the area at different times and as distinctly different ethnic groups, the current distinctions are contemporary socio-cultural constructs. Initially, the different ethnic groups lived together in relative peace. The first conflicts between ethnic groups can be dated back to the 17th century when the land was becoming ever more scarce because of the continuous growth in population. Independence of Burundi On 20 January 1959, Burundi's ruler Mwami Mwambutsa IV requested Burundi's independence from Belgium and dissolution of the Rwanda-Arundi Union. In the following months, Burundian political parties began to advocate for the end of Belgian colonial rule and the separation of Rwanda and Burundi. The first and largest of these political parties was the Union for National Progress UPRONA. Burundi's push for independence was influenced by the Rwandan Revolution and the accompanying instability and ethnic conflict that occurred there. As a result of the Rwandan Revolution, many Rwandan Tutsi refugees arrived in Burundi during the period from 1959 to 1961. Burundi's first elections took place on 8 September 1961 and UPRONA, a multi-ethnic unity party led by Prince Louis Rwagasore won just over 80% of the electorate's votes. In the wake of the elections, on 13 October, the 29-year-old Prince Rwagasore was assassinated, robbing Burundi of its most popular and well-known nationalists. The country claimed independence on 1 July 1962 and legally changed its name from Rwanda-Arundi to Burundi. Burundi became a constitutional monarchy with Mwami Mwambutsa IV, Prince Rwahazor's father, serving as the country's king. On 18 September 1962 Burundi joined the United Nations. In 1963, King Mwambutsa appointed a Hutu Prime Minister, Pierre Gendendumwe, but he was assassinated on 15 January 1965 by a Rwandan Tutsi employed by the U.S. Embassy. The assassination occurred in the broader context of the Congo crisis during which Western anti-communist countries were confronting the Communist People's Republic of China as it attempted to make Burundi a logistics base for communist insurgents battling in Congo. Parliamentary elections in May 1965 brought a majority of Hutu into the parliament, but when King Mwambutsa appointed a Tutsi prime minister, some Hutu felt this was unjust and ethnic tensions were further increased. In October 1965, an attempted coup d'état led by the Hutu-dominated police was carried out but failed. The Tutsi-dominated army, then led by Tutsi officer Captain Michel Micombero purged Hutu from their ranks and carried out reprisal attacks which ultimately claimed the lives of up to 5,000 people in a precursor to the 1972 Burundian genocide. King Mwambutsa, who had fled the country during the October coup of 1965, was deposed by a coup in July 1966 and his teenage son, Prince Enter V, claimed the throne. In November that same year, the Tutsi Prime Minister, then Captain Michel Micombero, carried out another coup, this time deposing Enter, abolishing the monarchy and declaring the nation a republic, though his one-party government was effectively a military dictatorship. As president, Micombero became an advocate of African socialism and received support from the People's Republic of China. He imposed a staunch regime of law and order and sharply repressed Hutu militarism. Government in Burundi Burundi's political system is that of a presidential representative democratic republic based upon a multi-party state. The president of Burundi is the head of state and head of government. There are currently 21 registered parties in Burundi. On 13 March 1992, Tutsi coup leader Pierre Bouyoya established a constitution, which provided for a multi-party political process and reflected multi-party competition. 
Six years later, on 6 June 1998, the Constitution was changed, broadening National Assembly's seats and making provisions for two vice presidents. Because of the Arusha Accord, Burundi enacted a transitional government in 2000. Burundi's legislative branch is a bicameral assembly, consisting of the Transitional National Assembly and the Transitional Senate. As of 2004, the Transitional National Assembly consisted of 170 members, with the Front for Democracy in Burundi holding 38% of seats, and 10% of the assembly controlled by UPRONA. 52 seats were controlled by other parties. Burundi's constitution mandates representation in the Transitional National Assembly to be consistent with 60% Hutu, 40% Tutsi, and 30% female members, as well as three Batwa members. Members of the National Assembly are elected by popular vote and serve five-year terms. The Transitional Senate has 51 members, and three seats are reserved for former presidents. Due to stipulations in Burundi's constitution, 30% of Senate members must be female. Members of the Senate are elected by electoral colleges, which consist of members from each of Burundi's provinces and communes. For each of Burundi's 18 provinces, one Hutu and one Tutsi senator are chosen. One term for the transitional Senate is five years. Together, Burundi's legislative branch elects the president to a five-year term. Burundi's president appoints officials to his Council of Ministers, which is also part of the executive branch. The president can also pick 14 members of the Transitional Senate to serve on the Council of Ministers. Members of the Council of Ministers must be approved by two-thirds of Burundi's legislature. The president also chooses two vice presidents. As of 7 May 2015, the president of Burundi is Pierre Nkorunziza. The first vice president is Thurent Sinunguruza, and the second vice president is Gervais Rufayakiri. The Kaur Supreme Supreme Court is Burundi's highest court. There are three courts of appeals directly below the Supreme Court. Tribunals of first instance are used as judicial courts in each of Burundi's provinces as well as 123 local tribunals. Geography of Burundi one of the smallest countries in Africa, Burundi is landlocked and has an equatorial climate. Burundi is a part of the Albertine Rift, the western extension of the East African Rift. The country lies on a rolling plateau in the center of Africa. Burundi is bordered by Rwanda to the north, Tanzania to the east and southeast, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo to the west. The average elevation of the central plateau is 1,707 meters 5, feet, with lower elevations at the borders. The highest peak, Mount Heha at 2,685 meters 8, feet, lies to the southeast of the official capital Bujumbura. The source of the Nile River is in Barori province and is linked from Lake Victoria to its headwaters via the Ruviranza River. Lake Victoria is also an important water source, which serves as a fork to the Kagera River. Another major lake is Lake Tanganyika, located in much of Burundi's southwestern corner. Burundi's lands are mostly agricultural or pasture. Settlement by rural populations has led to deforestation, soil erosion, and habitat loss. Deforestation of the entire country is almost completely due to overpopulation, with a mere 600 square kilometers 230 square miles remaining and an ongoing loss of about 9% per annum. There are two national parks, Kabira National Park to the northwest, a small region of the rainforest, adjacent to Nyungwe Forest National Park in Rwanda, Ruvubu National Park to the northeast, along the Rurubu River, also known as Ruvubu or Ruvuvu. Both were established in 1982 to conserve wildlife populations. Economy of Burundi Burundi is a landlocked, resource-poor country with an underdeveloped manufacturing sector. The economy is predominantly agricultural, accounting for 50% of GDP in 2017 and employing more than 90% of the population. Subsistence agriculture accounts for 90% of agriculture. Burundi's primary exports are coffee and tea, which account for 90% of foreign exchange earnings, though exports are a relatively small share of GDP. Other agricultural products include cotton, tea, maize, sorghum, sweet potatoes, bananas, manioc, tapioca, beef, milk, and hides. 
Even though subsistence farming is highly relied upon, many people do not have the resources to sustain themselves. This is due to large population growth and no coherent policies governing land ownership. In 2014, the average farm size was about one acre. Burundi is one of the world's poorest countries, owing in part to its landlocked geography, the poor legal system, lack of economic freedom, lack of access to education and the proliferation of HIV, AIDS. Approximately 80% of Burundi's population lives in poverty. Famines and food shortages have occurred throughout Burundi, most notably in the 20th century, and according to the World Food Program, 56.8% of children under age 5 suffer from chronic malnutrition. Burundi's export earnings, and its ability to pay for imports, rests primarily on weather conditions and international coffee and tea prices. The purchasing power of most Burundians has decreased as wage increases have not kept up with inflation. As a result of deepening poverty, Burundi will remain heavily dependent on aid from bilateral and multilateral donors. Foreign aid represents 42% of Burundi's national income, the second highest rate in sub-Saharan Africa. Burundi joined the East African Community in 2009, which should boost its regional trade ties, and also in 2009 received $700 million in debt relief. Government corruption is hindering the development of a healthy private sector as companies seek to navigate an environment with ever-changing rules. Studies since 2007 have shown Burundians to have extremely poor levels of satisfaction with life, the World Happiness Report 2018 rated them the world's least happy in 2018. Some of Burundi's natural resources include uranium, nickel, cobalt, copper, and platinum. Besides agriculture, other industries include assembly of imported components, public works construction, food processing and light consumer goods such as blankets, shoes, and soap. In regards to telecommunications infrastructure, Burundi is ranked second to last in the World Economic Forum's Network Readiness Index (NRI), an indicator for determining the development level of a country's information and communication technologies. Burundi ranked number 147 overall in the 2014 NRI ranking, down from 144 in 2013. Lack of access to financial services is a serious problem for the majority of the population, particularly in the densely populated rural areas, only 2% of the total population holds bank accounts and fewer than 0.5% use bank lending services. Microfinance, however, plays a larger role, with 4% of Burundians being members of microfinance institutions, a larger share of the population than that reached by banking and postal services combined. 26 licensed microfinance institutions MFIs, offer savings, deposits and short to medium term credit. The dependence of the sector on donor assistance is limited. Burundi is part of the East African Community and a potential member of the planned East African Federation. Economic growth in Burundi is relatively steady but Burundi is still behind neighboring countries. Transport in Burundi Burundi's transport network is limited and underdeveloped. According to a 2012 DHL Global Connectedness Index, Burundi is the least globalized of 140 surveyed countries. Bujumbura International Airport is the only airport with a paved runway and as of May 2017, it was serviced by four airlines, Brussels Airlines, Ethiopian Airlines, Kenya Airways, and Rwanda Air. Kigali is the city with the most daily flight connections to Bujumbura. The country has a road network but as of 2005 less than 10% of the country's roads were paved and as of 2013 private bus companies were the main operators of buses on the international route to Kigali, however, there were no bus connections to the other neighboring countries Tanzania and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Bujumbura is connected by a passenger and cargo ferry, the MV Mwangozo, to Kagoma in Tanzania. There is a long-term plan to link the country via rail to Kigali and then onward to Kampala and Kenya. Demographics of Burundi As of July 2018, Burundi was estimated by the United Nations to have a population of 11,175,374 people, compared to only 2,456,000 in 1950. The population growth rate is 2.5% per year, more than double the average global pace, and a Burundian woman has on average 6.3 children, nearly triple the international fertility rate. 
Burundi had the fifth highest total fertility rate in the world in 2012. Many Burundians have migrated to other countries as a result of the civil war. In 2006, the United States accepted approximately 10,000 Burundian refugees. Burundi remains an overwhelmingly rural society, with just 13% of the population living in urban areas in 2013. The population density of around 315 people per square kilometer 753 per square miles is the second highest in sub-Saharan Africa. Roughly 85% of the population are of Hutu ethnic origin, 15% are Tutsi and fewer than 1% are indigenous TWA. The official languages of Burundi are Kurundi, French and, since 2014, English. Swahili can be found spoken along the Tanzanian border and it has some official recognition by law as a language spoken and taught in the country. Culture in Burundi Burundi's culture is based on local tradition and the influence of neighboring countries, though cultural prominence has been hindered by civil unrest. Since farming is the main industry, a typical Burundian meal consists of sweet potatoes, corn, and peas. Due to the expense, meat is eaten only a few times per month. When several Burundians of close acquaintance meet for a gathering they drink impik, a beer, together with from a large container to symbolize unity. Notable Burundians include the footballer Mohamed Chite and singer Jean-Pierre Nimbona, popularly known as Kidumu, who is based in Nairobi, Kenya. Crafts are an important art form in Burundi and are attractive gifts to many tourists. Basket weaving is a popular craft for local artisans. Other crafts such as masks, shields, statues, and pottery are made in Burundi. Drumming is an important part of cultural heritage. The world-famous royal drummers of Burundi, who have performed for over 40 years, are noted for traditional drumming using the karyenda, amashako, ibishikizo and ikiranya drums. Dance often accompanies drumming performance, which is frequently seen in celebrations and family gatherings. The abatimbo, which is performed at official ceremonies and rituals and the fast-paced abanyagasimbo are some famous Burundian dances. Some musical instruments of note are the flute, zither, ikembe, indonongo, umadori, inanga and the inayagara. The country's oral tradition is strong, relaying history and life lessons through storytelling, poetry, and song. Imagani, indirimbo, amazing, and ivy ivyugo are literary genres in Burundi. Basketball and track and field are noted sports. Martial arts are popular, as well. There are five major judo clubs, Club Judo de l'Entente Sportive, in downtown, and four others throughout the city. Location football is a popular pastime throughout the country, as are Mancala games. Most Christian holidays are celebrated, with Christmas being the largest. Burundian Independence Day is celebrated annually on 1 July. In 2005, the Burundian government declared Eid al-Fitr, an Islamic holiday, to be a public holiday. Education in Burundi In 2009, the adult literacy rate in Burundi was estimated to be 67%, 73% male and 61% female, with a literacy rate of 77% and 76%, respectively, for men and women between the ages of 15 to 24. By 2015, this had increased to 85.6%, 88.2% male and 83.1% female. Literacy among adult women has increased by 17% since 2002. Burundi's literacy rate is relatively low due to low school attendance and because literacy in Kurundi only provides access to materials printed in that language, though it is higher than many other African countries. 10% of Burundian boys are allowed a secondary education. Burundi has just one public university, the University of Burundi. There are museums in the cities, such as the Burundi Geological Museum in Bujumbura and the Burundi National Museum and the Burundi Museum of Life in Gitega. There will be a new school opening in one of the poorest regions, Rusaga, funded by an English charity, the Burundi Education Foundation. The Burundi Education Foundation was hoping to open the school in the summer of 2014. In 2010 a new elementary school was opened in the small village of Rewoga that is funded by the pupils of Westwood High School, Quebec, Canada. Thanks for watching this video if you like this video, click on like button.
If you want to watch more videos like this, click on the subscription button below, it's free subscription.